Hi guys. How are you all doing everybody? I hope everybody's fine. I hope everybody's happy. Welcome back to Tree Channel. <laughs> I want to send my love to you guys. Yes, thank you for tuning in. How are you everybody? I hope you are fine. I hope you great. <laughs> yes guys, so welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. So today's topic is about Psalm, Psalm chapter 118, Psalm chapter 118, verse 8, Psalm chapter 118, verse 8. Today's topic is about Jesus is the center of our lives. Jesus is the center of our lives. Okay. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Verse 9. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Verse 10. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. 11. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. Verse 12. They swarmed around me like bees, but they died out as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. Verse 13, I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. Verse 14, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Okay, guys, I'm going to repeat again. Psalm chapter 18, verse 8, it says, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. And on the verse 13, it says, I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. Verse 14, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Yes, guys. So today's topic is about Jesus is the center of our lives. For those of you, my brother and sister, I thank you so much that you are tuning in. If you think that Jesus is the center of your lives and you believe that you need God in everything, Please drop your comments down below and please let us know what you thought, what is your comments and what is your story. Yes, guys, so today is about Jesus is the center of our lives. For me, guys, personally, Jesus, it's everything. Even though the morning when you wake up, like the morning when I always wake up, we always have to pray. We, ever, we always have to involve God in everything that we do. Yes, you know, there is a difference between if you're not involved God in your life with you involving God in your life. It's a big difference, guys. As a Christian, like as a follower of Jesus, I would say so many times like we need God for all the days to come. Like we need to make certain decision in our lives. And if we make decision, no matter how small decision, how big decision, we involve God, that everything, that decision that we make, we can be sure that we can have peace in every decision that we make. Or maybe some of you that think that you are busy or no, I'm too busy, I can't, I don't have time for prayer. Oh, really? No. What is prayer? Prayer, it's when you speak to God. It's just when we're having a conversation, that is prayer. Even though five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, some people, I know some people pray for hours and hours, it's still a prayer. You know, we are worshiping God, God that is alive, that God is living God. He hear your prayer, guys. Everything that what you say to him, he heard it. Because we worshiping the living God. He hear your prayer. Yes, he does. It is sometimes so many times that we ignore that he actually listening to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, guys. Uh, today's video is about to remind you. You and I, we together, we must involve God in everything that we do in everything especially in the morning the first thing that you have to wake up in the morning 
we must give thanks to God, pray, and involve Him for the rest of our day. Imagine guys, if you have to go through this life like alone, everything alone, everything you depend on man, you get so many disappointments. Because at the end of the day, humans are not perfect, but God is. Please drop your comments down below guys if you agree with me. Men usually bring disappointment in life. Or maybe you have trusted this guy and you think, oh, this guy is a good guy, or this girl is a good girl, it's, oh, it's a girlfriend that I can trust. But hey, <laughs> there's no guarantee this person is good for you. Or maybe you never know what is in their mind, what's in their heart. If you trust in man, you get disappointment. Of course, we need to ask advice like for our parents or for even our teacher, our pastor, or people that we can trust, that we can look up to. That is a different story. Those people, yeah, maybe you can reliable, you can rely on them and you can trust them. They, they, is, they are is a good role model for you. Then yeah, please go ahead. But here, what I'm trying to emphasize is like you can't trust just random people especially people that you don't know yes guys agree with me or not agree with me it's completely up to you but it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man I just want to remind you if you are watching this video and you make a very important decision certain decision in your life and you're not sure where you go to please always go to Bible again and then please ask God for Holy Spirit consultation and he will speak to you especially when the moment you want to make a decision of something like something important in your life you want to make that decision and you were not sure please involve God in everything that you do because we human right human is full imperfections but God is God that's perfect if you pray about something decision in your life that you want to make no matter what it is or the girl you want to marry or the guy that you want to marry this is the important life decision guys because married when you get married to that person it's like eternity it's like forever Christian we don't believe in such thing as divorce no marriages it's commitment it's commitment guys and this is one of the example of important decision that you're gonna take that you're gonna make in your life you everything that you do in each and every one of us in our lives please can I remind you again you must involve God because God's way is is the perfect way than our way if you have any testimony guys about how God has been so real to you and has been loved you so much you know that maybe you have a certain life experience that you've been through that disappointment in you but God they help you please drop your comments down below and please share that you agree with me that Jesus should be the center in our lives <laughs> yes guys please let us know your story okay please drop the comments down below we must involve God guys with everything this is a reminder you must pray to God for every decision that you want to make in your life you must pray to God you must you must read your Bible and then asking God because when you make a false decision or uh, anyone can bring disappointment in your life guys you gotta you're gonna waste your time yes you can learn experience for the things that you have you made or mistake yes it's an experience that you go through 
But when you involve God in everything, God will speak to you along the journey, then your life would be easier. Please go back to the Bible again. It like God is this your way and please continue to pray again like God is this your way. Please involve God and God is the living God that can speak to you. He can speak to you. Yes. And Bible it's life. Yes. And please involve God guys for every decision that they're gonna make and if you have any important decision that you make in your lives please drop your comments down below so we can pray for you like I can pray for you for God show the way for you that you want to do or you certain things that you want to make or you build up a new business are you taking a big step for study or what subject you're gonna study or whatever it is guys and please drop your comments down below okay and we'll bring you in the prayers yes so we gotta you know in the first some chapter 118 verse 13 it say I was pushed back and about to fall but the Lord helped me this is emphasizing God that God the Lord help us you know God is the God of Almighty and he, he he's working in a lot of ways that he can help you even through miracles even through other people even through your family through your friends through your church family God can help you through situations and verse 14 it says the Lord is my strength and my song he has become my salvation he is the God Almighty guys yes he is he is the God Almighty he is the God can do miracles if you can involve him in everything you're gonna be refreshed again in the freshness in the joy of the Lord there's a guarantee but if you don't involve God you have trusted man there's no guarantee guys the man can just you know say something about you and maybe the man can be pretend to care for you but you know then you don't know and turn out to be he or she is a liar right but even though such thing happen let's say you have experienced somebody has been so bad to you or somebody has been rude to you somebody lied to you but if you involve God Holy Spirit can put in your heart that you can have forgiveness to that person and what happens if you have forgiveness guys you will have peace you know whether disappointment in life whether hardship in life you must involve God because when God is there you you never feel alone because somebody is there with you at least that's what happened to me when I was in the hospital <laughs> uh, you might have heard I share about my hospital experience uh, with the condition of bladder infections throughout those darkest moments guys God was there with me I, I felt alone but not to the point like really depressed no because I know that somebody is there with me yes yes guys so this is just a reminder to you that you if you recently that you have to make uh, important decisions of things that you have to do or things that you have to decide especially big things like businesses that you want to or you want to go for study please you must involve God okay so this video is a reminder that you must involve God and you must pray about your conditions and everything that you do yes so this this video is about a reminder 
that you have to do in Christ together. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> That's a small little dog. Want to say hello? <laughs> uh, yes. So, guys. So, I hope you learn something today. Okay. I hope you learn something. I hope you get uh, reminded again that Jesus is the center of everything, and we must involve Him in everything that we do. Okay. So yes, okay guys, um, this is today's topic, it's about, yes, it's about how good God is in our lives. I just want to <laughs> show you about that little dog, but he's running away already, so far away already. Oh, you want to see them? Do you want to see them? Okay, let's check it out. But it's quite far away, guys. If you want to see, it's, it's there. Oopsie. Where's, where's the family? See? They're walking quite far now, but that's more little dog to say hello to us. <laughs> yes, guys, so. Yes, guys, back to this topic again. So, it's a video encouragement to you. To all of us, even me, guys, I'm still learning about all this. So yes, we're just gonna continue to be faithful in Christ. And this is the video encouragement, guys. If anything that you want to be prayed for, please drop your comments down below. <laughs> and we can bring you in prayers, okay? I want to say hi to Jose. Hi, Jose. I hope you're doing fine. <laughs> and I want to thank you for those of you who buy cute subscriber. Hi. Hi, Tan. <laughs> for all my subscribers that you have been subscribed to this channel. And for all your support. Thank you. Will never be enough. May the love of God will continue rain down upon your life. <laughs> okay guys today's video is about the reminder that Jesus is the center of our lives and especially for those of you who make a very important decision in your life whether marriage or a, you want to build a business in your life or you want to have to go to a job interview or whatever it is and you want to go to a certain subject for study please drop your comments down below guys so we can continue to pray for you okay Yes, thank you very much guys for for your time and yes before we close this video let's pray together. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you God. Dear Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name, thy kingdom come, thy your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We thank you so much Lord for your kindness, for your mercy, for your grace that we still can enjoy life until this point. We thank you so much God that today we learn about Jesus, you are the center in our lives. We want to thank you, Jesus, for everything that you have been doing in our lives, God. We thank you, God, that you are still working among us. I just want to pray, Jesus, right now for all my brother and sister who make an important decision in their lives, that you can remind it again, God, that they must involve you in every decision that they're going to make, every step that they're going to take, God. Thank you, Jesus, that they continue to can be depends on you, O oh Lord, and you continue to show them the way, the perfect way, O oh Jesus, that you want them to go or you want them to be. I thank you so much, Lord, for each and every one of my brother and sister who are watching this video right now. I pray for a financial breakthrough, career breakthrough, for protection upon their families, their life, Jesus. I pray that God is some of them, oh God, we have a new goal in you, a new target to achieve. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, God, you will be with them. I thank you so much, Lord. I want to continue to commit each and every one of them into the palm of your hands. Thank you, Father. May you continue to love them, oh God. May you continue to be so real in their life. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and I thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, brother and sister, I thank you so much that you have tuning in. I thank you so much for your time. <laughs> yes, have a great day, everybody, and hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>